All right. If it is it's four o'clock in America, so if it's past four o'clock, I'm sorry, but you are watching the replay version. So it doesn't matter how many times you say, "Hey, Jack, I'm here. Give me a shout out." I'm not going to see you. Um, I, I I noticed that a lot of people have been doing that. Miss Letty, in particular. If you're watching this girl and it's four past four o'clock, sorry, you're you're catching the you're catching the replay. Anywho, I'm here. Um, if you want to share, go down to the bottom left hand corner and share with your friends. Uh, you can tap the like one moment. I don't know if I'm coming in okay because I keep pausing on my end, but the show must go on. Hey. Hey girl, hey, Miss Serena Cha Cha. So, anywho, Pride was this weekend, oh. and I'm alive to tell a story. Thank God, Lord knows that. You know, when you hang out with, um, when you hang out with the with the fun people, you are going to have a good time, guaranteed. Let me tell you, when you find the, the fun people, and they'll give you, they'll give you a run for your money. And I always tell people, you may not make it out alive, but you'll live, you'll, uh, it's a good time. It's a fun time. And what I noticed, it was fun because it was my, not my first, well, it was my first time actually going with no agenda whatsoever. I told my friends, you know, I'm, I'm going to go wherever the wind takes me. I'm not going to work worry about, oh, meeting up over here with this person, or meeting up with this person, or waiting for this person to arrive so we can get the show going. Mm -mm. I'm going to go, and whoever I run into, I'm going to run into them, and whoever I see, I see, and whoever I don't, there's always next time, right? So it was a wonderful feeling, and I think it was, it, what it taught me was I don't need to have this big group of people constantly around me to have fun. I can't. I don't have to even be have, have energy or intoxicated or to be drugged up or to have fun. You know, all I have to do is just go and 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 be to have such a great time. Saturday, I met up with my friends after sleeping because I was exhausted from Friday and I missed the parade but when I met up with my friends they were doing uh, they were they were in the hip-hop section I didn't want to be in the hip-hop section so I said I'm gonna go I'm gonna go find other people to hang out with they were totally okay with it and then they saw um, what was that little girl's name they saw they saw the girl who sings um, Angelica yes Angelica just be the little girl who sing oh, what is it? Kesha they watched Kesha. I didn't want to watch Kesha, so I didn't watch Kesha. Um, but I was so... I, I, I noticed I was so tired. So tired. And I told myself, don't be complaining about being tired because you you don't come out a lot, so you might as well just go and have fun. And I kept telling myself, reminding myself, you know, you're here in this moment. Go, go enjoy it. Go enjoy it. And so I went and I saw many, many, many old faces lots lots of old faces some new ones you know I, I went out and I met tons of new people too but lots of old faces and something that made me very happy something that I realized one moment please I'm gonna drink a water is that most of them not all of them most of them said Jack oh my gosh nice to see you oh my god I love your videos you're doing so well these days, girl. I, I watch you. I didn't either. Didn't want to be in the crowd. Sometimes we don't have to be in the crowd. We just can be and go with the flow. Anywho, a lot of them were saying, you know, oh, I see your videos. You're doing so well. You're, you're so inspiring and all, all this fun stuff. You know, great, great, um, great reactions to see from from my friends and from from well, from you guys. And so. It was wonderful, and what, what, I, what I learned over this weekend was that sometimes, I think too many times, we have this small group of people that uh, talk mess, or they don't support our dreams, or they, you know, don't understand the work that we do, and they, or they, they're just not, 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 uh, 
not unsupportive, but they're they're not on the same page as you, basically. And I feel sometimes we focus our attention on that. Like, how can we please the masses? How can we please this person? How can we please these people? How can we give value to these people? When in reality, there is this whole group, like a huge, huge group of people who are so supportive of us, who just love everything you do, who appreciate all the work that you put out into the world, who just see you, who, who just see you for you even when you can't see yourself they just see you for you and I, I i was questioning why am i focused on this tiny little group kimberly <gasps> miss oh kimberly patton rikus is in the house she's the queen of the videos if you don't want if you don't follow her you gotta follow her she's tons of great videos but um i was questioning like why are we so focused why are we so focused on this small group of mediocre people who are really irrelevant. Why? Why do we do that to ourselves? And I don't question, I, I don't think the question is why, the, the, the question is why aren't we focused on this group, this big huge, huge group of people. Ah, oh, love you, love you too, girl, love you too. Thank you for, for joining in the live, Miss Thang. I'll, I'll talk to you soon. We need to catch up. But um, it's wonderful. Be, to, to be some people will disagree with me, but I don't, I don't care what people think. To be a queer person in this day and age, I think is a wonderful, wonderful thing. To have the technology that we have in this day and age, to be able to just be yourself in this day and age, it's, it's what a great time to be alive, I think. I know others may not think so. They think, you know, the world around us is crawling, crashing down, but I don't, I don't because I, I'm, I'm realizing your work that you put out into the world, it will pay off. You will touch so many people's lives without even knowing it. I was talking to my friend and he says, um, I love your video. I, I have my whole production, uh, yeah, his whole product production team watching my videos. And I'm thinking, wow, what? Really? Your, your production team? You know, he works for Facebook. I'm happy in my 30s because I became me and love me. You are so right. Yes, you have to love you. I think it's very important to love you. Another one of my friends, he said, I don't watch all of your videos, but the ones that I do watch, you know, you create a huge impact on my life, Jack, and you really make me think about things that I never have would have thought about before. And, and what's so crazy, I think the, the cr even crazier thing is I have no agenda. I have no agenda. When I come on here, like today, I said, okay, I'm going to go on Facebook Live, you know, talk about my product experience. I didn't say, I was going to do this, I was going to do this, I was going to do this, I was going to get to this point. Do None of that mattered. None of that mattered. Someone just sent me a Facebook um, message, and you guys heard it. And if this was something that it had to be perfect and, you know, on point, then I would have been frustrated with that. But because I don't, I just do it from the love of my heart. I do it happily. I do it, um, I have fun when I'm doing it. I'm working from my source, therefore you can't go wrong, right? Yes, people tell me they watch all my videos and it's people I would have never expected. You are influencing so many, influencing so many Jack. It's because you have no agenda, but you're so influential. Well, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, but it's true. You, and I know that the realistic people are going to be upset, but you can't have an agenda. There is no agenda. I don't, I don't know. These days, these days I'm learning that I can just be just Jack, whether that's drinking booze, whether that's partying on a street corner, whether that's getting kicked out of line at the club. I got kicked out of line at the club. I didn't even care. You know, if you would have taken me, I don't know, last year, two years ago, I would have said, who do they think they are kicking just Jack out of this line? And, you know, do you, hmm, that's for the birds. I got out of the line and I said, oh, I'm going to go somewhere else. And I did. I did. I ended up walking down the street and meeting wonderful people. I met some people from San Francisco, and I met this little girl who wanted to, you know, do more makeup. And it's like, okay, the universe obviously took me out of that line for the club for a reason, because there were other people that were going to come into my life if I would only allow it. 
If I would only say enough with the ego, enough with this just jack person, you ain't nobody queen, you know, but and, and, and knowing at the same time, I'm, I'm not for everyone. I'm not for everyone and I'm nobody, but to so many, I am just enough. I'm, I'm, I'm enough. I'm enough for, for a lot of people. A lot of people. And there are many people that maybe, you know, they, they can't handle me. That's not, my, that's not my job to make them handle me. My, I know that there are people in this world that really love me. I have a God that loves me. I have a huge support system. And so, quite frankly, I, I, I realize that, eh, who cares? Go to some, go watch somebody else, you know, this is Facebook Live, this is Facebook. There's tons of other people on Facebook Live that you can watch. You don't have to sit here and watch me. You know, you don't have to watch the blog post. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything but just be. Be yourself, 100%. I was talking to Risa Renee Welch, you are amazing. Daniel Rita, love this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining you guys. Um, I was telling... Yes, the Lord adores you. So do I. Well, thank you, Bakery. Thank you so, so much. Thanks for the reminder. Um, Uh-oh, I, I lost my, my train of thought. I was going to talk about something. See? Well, they, they are missing out if they don't adore you. Well, thank you, Carrie Carter. Thanks for coming in, Miss Carrie Carter. Um, oh, I was going to say something. I totally... Um, the, that's right. The world is what you, you want it to be. I love you and I'm very proud of the inspiration you preach. Well, thank you, Patty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, oh, dang it. I can't believe that I lost my train of thought. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, owning my own... Being, being just Jack. Being just Jack. Somebody asked me. They said, well, don't you get upset when you slip up? You know, and when other people see you slip up, don't you get scared, you know, showing them the full just jack, you know, on social media. And that's the great thing. It's kind of like nobody sees the full just jack. I don't think anybody will ever see the full just jack. You know, there are many, many, many people who think they have seen the real just jack. But it, I, I shared with this person, you know, it reminds me when I was younger Everybody thought I was this happy-go-lucky kid, and for the most part, I really was. But they didn't see that kid who was, that little gay boy who was crying himself to sleep, you know, every night. And what I, I think what's wonderful these days is that I don't remember the last time that I cried myself to sleep because I wasn't happy with who I am. I don't remember the last time that I had a bad day. I don't. Because I, I don't have bad days. I have bad moments. There are many moments where I'm like, oh, shoot, not, oh, now what is it? But I've practiced my vibrational frequency with such alignment that whenever anything feels off-putting or uneasy to me or makes me feel uncomfortable, I care about how I feel, right? I care about my mood. I care about my, my well-being. And because I care about my well-being, I'm able to gravitate and change my mind and change my thoughts to thinking, to gravitating towards something that's going to make me feel good. And I'm constantly on this path of trying to feel good and better myself. And therefore, I am always, always, always on my journey. And that's what I, that's what I wish that everybody would understand. This is yours. This is your journey. Yes, you may have been that little gay boy who was crying himself to sleep every night, but that does not define you. That does not define me. Because look at me now. Look at what I, look at what happened. Look, because I chose, I chose, and it's a choice. Many people will say it's not. I beg to differ, but you know, to each his own, don't listen to me. It's a choice to be happy. It's a choice to love yourself. And it's up to you to say, enough is enough. I choose not to listen to you. No, no. Mm -mm. Um, opinion not desired or required. I am just Jack.com. There has never been. There never will be another one just like me. Just like every single one of you watching this now. You are you. If you want to be a dot com, you can. But you are you. There never has been. Never will be another one of you. So I think it's important to love yourself and 
get in tune with whatever I always used to say you play the cards you're dealt and make sure you play a good game make sure you have fun while playing it and if you don't have fun and if you know you need to push the restart button you know take the little game out blow it out and then put it back in and start all over again from step one do it do it the world is yours it's kind of like how much do you want it how much do you want to change do you want to change because you can be the same person you were last year you can be the same person you were five years ago you can be the same person you were 15 years ago it depends on how you want to change it's if it's going to be it's up to me right so and and along the way I feel along the way you start attracting people into your life who are just like you you've always attracted people in your life who are just like you those people who moan and groan and bitch and complain I bet that was you once upon a time and that's why that's what's so great about friends is that even though even though you're all so crazy you're all similar but very different very different and I think what's great is that friends choose you you don't choose them just like you guys every single person who is here watching this you guys have chosen me and I thank you I thank you for choosing me I think you guys made a good choice but I know how to pick them and I know BS when I see BS and I know a good friend when I when I see it you know I watched uh, Patty LaBelle told Oprah this one time she said I know who my true friends are and I know why the cage bird sings. And it's true. And what a wonderful feeling to know who your real friends are, who your real friends aren't. Thank you kindly, but you have to go out of my life now. I don't want anything to do with you. You were here for a season. That's all you're going to be here for. Bye, Felicia. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, um, well, I'm actually not kidding because I have gotten rid of a lot of people. And you... You can, a lot of people have gotten rid of, rid of me. You weed out the flock. And I'd rather, I'd rather just be myself and say my point of view on things and get rid of all the people who don't want to watch me now. You know, it, it's so much easier than seeing them on Facebook over and over with their small-minded mentalities or, you know, having them send me a message and say, hey, you know, I think you're nuts. You're a wackadoodle. You shouldn't be preaching that kind of stuff. You you should be ashamed of yourself. You know, you're, you're giving a bad name to people. Please, I'm not giving a bad name to nobody but just Jack.com. And I know that I have nothing to hide, nothing to defend, nothing to protect. Um, I saw some light and I thought I would stop by. Hey, Ollie. Good to see you, girl. Hey, girl, hey. Go follow Wisa Bruni Gali. If you're not following, I already said it. But, um, anyways, back to friends. Friends are important. Friends, friends are, friends are definitely, definitely needed for the spirit, for the spirit. Because you can be puking your guts out in front of your friends, and they're still going to love you the next day. You know, they're, they're, the way I see things, it's like that, that, that little dog that loves you. I love my friends that way. You know, it doesn't matter what my friends do to me. I still will always love them. One of my friends, Tanya, she said, we're like the dysfunctional family. Um, Hi, Jack. I love seeing you and spreading time with you. And I took your advice. Ha. Well, you go, Miss Bernie. Way to take my advice and take some action. Friends are everything in your daily life. Yes, just as much as family is. Yes, which I also think is very important. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have such a supportive family, I'd probably go nuts, you know? That's why I, I, I think it's sad, but it's kind of understandable when people commit suicide and, you know, take their own lives, or they think, they, they think that there's no other way out, you know, because they're not supported or something. That's why I think that it's so important to support everybody and to just, if you see somebody without a smile, give them yours and love, love. I, I can't, I can't stress that enough. Love. We were walking down the street Friday night, and uh, it was, you know, Pride weekend, and so I'm, of course, you know, I'm 
happy as can be, feeling the energy around my friends, and I'm happy to be around my friends, and I can't help but to spread that with everybody else. So I'm walking around going, happy pride, happy pride, hey, happy pride. And there were lots of people who didn't give me the time of day, and that's fine. You know, and somebody, I don't remember who told me, he said, why do you keep saying happy pride? They're not even listening to you. I said, because a no is free. If there's one thing I've learned in business, a no is free. I'm going to keep going, keep doing my thing, because somebody out there, somebody is bound to say happy pride back and bound to feel the love that I'm giving freely. And I, I hope that they do. And there were lots of people who said it back. And there was even this one group of, of people who I was walking back in the distance and my friends were up in front of me and I saw them like mad dogging some of my friends. And so I just looked at them and I said, hey, happy pride, everybody. And they just, woo, you know, they were, I don't know, I don't know how they were feeling, but I know what I saw. And I, I know when someone's, I know when someone's trying to um, give you the side eye, I know it well. So I saw them, but I was like, you know, instead of me giving them a side eye because they gave my friends a side eye, I'm just going to give them love because that conquers all. Love will always, always win. And in this crazy world, full of hate and full of um, darkness and people fighting with each other, I choose to love because love will always, always win. So I guess that's my rant for now. I hope you guys got some kind of value from this. It wasn't really um, anything special. But um, go out there, go love people, keep up the work, because you may not be for everybody. You may not be, uh, you're not for everybody, that's a promise. You're not everybody's cup of tea. You're not. The Nazarene, Christ himself, wasn't everybody's cup of tea. But for lots and lots and lots of people, you are more, more than enough. So keep on going, keep following your dreams, keep up the good work, keep giving love, promote stuff that you love, and I will see all you guys later. Hey, Miss Serena Chacha, always love watching you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lori Miller. Hey, Miss Anna M. Silk. All right, lots of love to all you guys, lots of success. Um, once again, if you got some value from this, let me know on Facebook, share it with your community of folks. Uh, tag a team member if you want. Tag someone who needs a little reminder that you're worthy. Uh, bye for now. Bye, Felicia.